And let the Holy Spirit come and take control of every situation that has troubled my mind, all my cares and burdens unto you. I will sing fire. atmosphere with your peace and comfort. Abide in us. Abide with us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you Lord for the families and friends both far and near. I pray that you wipe away all tears. Minister unto each and everyone in the name of Jesus. Amen. Particularly Lord, I lift up Sister Chela and Kenzo, Brother Manuel's wife and son unto your caring and able hands. Lord, uphold, uplift, strengthen, and fortify them Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. We also commit the parents of our dear brother unto your hands. My father, wipe away their tears. Amen. Support them Amen. and uplift them. The word says, blessed are they that mourn for they shall be comforted. I saturate this environment with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 You may be seated in Jesus' mighty name. Welcome everyone here. Whatsoever we do with our time today is is what we're going to reap tomorrow. Hallelujah. So what we are today, where we are today is a product or a product of where, what and how we have used our time even yesterday. So I pray in the name of Jesus that each and every one of us will begin to take time very, very seriously. <coughs> Bible tells us in the book of Psalm 90 and verse 12, is somebody there? So teach us number of days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Hallelujah. Teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. And in the name of Jesus, we shall not waste our precious time. In Jesus' mighty name. Yeah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. One thing that is so certain from that scripture, it says there's a time to be born, there's a time to die. 
one thing is certain that as long as there is birth, there is death. For anyone to have an appointment with birth, there is already an existing appointment with death, irrespective of whether anyone likes it or not. Glory be to God. Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 27, quickly. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. Hallelujah. It is appointed unto men once to die, and after this is judgment. Also in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 7, Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 7. Then shall the dust return to the earth, as it was, and the spirit shall return unto God, who gave it. Hmm. The dust shall return to the earth, and the spirit shall return unto God, who gave it. So meaning the spirit of our brother has returned unto God, who gave him the spirit. And so the body will return to where? To the dust, where it originally came from. And also in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 20, Ecclesiastes 3 and verse 20. All go unto the one place, all are of the dust, and all turn to dust again. Mm. All go unto one place, all are of the dust, and all go unto dust again. As long as you have appointment with birth, there is appointment with death. It is not your age that determines the time you will live. No one can determine when he or she will leave the earth. Not even anybody, not even ourselves. Hallelujah. But who can determine that time? It's only God. A lot of people are, are very good at quoting that scripture in Psalm 90, 9 to 10. Psalm 90, 9 to 10. Quickly. For all our days are passed away <coughs> in thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are three score years and ten. And if by reason of strength they be four score years, yet is their strength, labor, and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and we fly away. Hallelujah. A lot of people, you know, people are quick at putting the scripture, they say, oh, the days, our days are the, the, the two, three score and ten years, meaning seventy. That was as a result of the judgment, you know, passed on to the children of Israel. Men, as a result of their rebellion, as a result of their murmuring against God, and because of the judgment that was given, it, 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 the journey of one day that was converted to one year, meaning the journey that was meant to take them for 40 days now took them 40 years. And the people at that time upon whom this, this judgment was, was passed were within, you know, the, the Lord gave the judgment that from 0 to 19. They were exonerated, they were exempted from that judgment. Meaning from 20 upwards, they would, they would take you know, repercussion for every offense given. And this tells us that if anyone is here today and you are 20 years and above, you have to have a rethink of your life. Because God says we are accountable. As from 20 years, God says we are accountable. And so we have to be careful because today is not too much about, uh, we, it's, it's, it's for us gathering to, to, to really uh, celebrate the times, the memories we shared with our brother, but it's an, there's another very vital uh, reason why we are here is to reevaluate and reassess our lives because Brother Manuel has played his own part, he has done his part, amen, and he has gone to be with his maker. Glory be to God. The Lord spoke this in details in the book of Numbers chapter 14. Let's read Numbers 14, 26 to 30, quickly. And the Lord spoke unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, How long shall I bear with this evil congregation, which murmur against me? I have heard the murmuring of the children of Israel, which they murmur against me. Say unto them, As truly as I live, said the Lord, as ye have spoken into my ears, so will I do unto you. Your carcass shall fall in this wilderness, and all that were numbered of you, according to your whole number, from twenty years old and upward, which have murmured against me. Doubtless you shall not come into the land concerning which I swear to make you dwell therein, said Caleb the son of Jephne, and Joshua the son of Nun. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Like I said, if you are 20 years and above, 
the Lord is speaking so loud to each and everyone here tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Meaning, if anything happens to you, to any of us today, we are accountable. Amen. We don't have control over time. So only fools keep saying, I still, I still got time. Oh, I'm only 20. I'm only 22. I'm only this. I'm only that. I mean, I still have a lot of years. Our sister Chella, when she was giving the eulogy, she said they had a lot of plans together. They had a lot of this together. But today, you know, he's not here. But we, our consolation is that we have not lost him. Amen? Amen. Everyone has gained, has just gained a soul. Can we give God praise in the house? That's why you discover everything about God is now. Amen? Everything about God is now. God, you, you, and it's, the spirit of procrastination is a killer of, the, of, of destiny. God says now is the day of salvation. According to 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 2. For he said, I have heard thee in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I support thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Now. Somebody said now. Now. now is the day of salvation. Now is the time to reevaluate ourselves. Now is the time to make a decision as regards where am I spending my eternity. Now, not tomorrow. Amen? Amen. Isaiah 43, 18 to 19 still talks about now. Remember, you know, the former things, neither consider it the things of old. For behold, I will do a new thing. Where? Now. now. It says, now it shall spring forth. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Tell your neighbor, now is the time of your salvation. Now. Even in the book of, in the book of Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, it tells us about faith. It says, now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. Now. You see, now being, you know, very, very uh, repeated and being emphasized even in, through the word of God. Amen. Like we read earlier on, Hebrews 9.27, Hebrews 9.27. For it is appointed unto man to die once, and after this judgment. It is appointed unto man to die where? How many times? Once. After death is judgment. Amen. And so we have to make a decision as regards how or where are we going to spend our eternity. Heaven is real. Hell is real. Amen. Heaven is real. Hell is real. You can imagine all the things that are happening around in the world now. They are the things, they are the signs, they are the things that have been spoken of concerning the end times. Amen. We are seeing the, end, the signs of end times everywhere. Everywhere, every moment. The Lord will keep on giving us the grace and exempting each of us and our families from evil in the name of Jesus. Look at the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3, 1 to 5. 2 Timothy chapter 3, 1 to 5. This know also that in the last days, the real time shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despised of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. Hallelujah. A lot of, a lot of things, violent killings all over the place. You know, even uh, there was a shooting where in the, 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 the state, you know, just all over the place. It's just too much. The Lord will protect his own in Jesus' mighty name. None of us shall be victims of violent killings in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The mighty hand of the Lord will protect you and your families in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. But Emmanuel has lived his own life. Thank God that, you know, uh, even though I, I happen to know him within a very short time, but I found out he's a very amiable person, a very peace-loving person, uh, caring, and a lover of music. Glory be to God. And I thank God that where he is now, there is so much music. Amen. He will enjoy, he will, he will continue to enjoy, you know, eternally music music and great worship you will sit down there on this and you, you will see that it was feeling the the, the 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 power of music i bless god that he lived a life that was in, that's impactful 
Amen. And we can see from the testimony and even from the testimonies of everybody that I've met even within this uh, past few weeks, I, I bless God for his life. It is not the length of days you spend on earth that determines your righteousness. It is your relationship with Jesus. He had a relationship with Jesus. And so he is in a better place. He is in a prepared place with his maker. According to the book of John chapter 14, 1 to 3, quickly. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would not have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. In the name of Jesus, I declare an end of, 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 unto, unto untimely death in, in the family, both immediate and extended, and in the lives and families of everyone that has come to honor this invitation in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Pray for Kenzo, he shall be the head and not the tail. He shall be above and not beneath. He shall be a shining star. He shall be a role model. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord himself will be a father unto him. He is the father to the fatherless. He is the husband to the widow. And he will be your husband. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so I'd like us to open to the book of First Kings chapter 5 verse 4. As I decree over every life here in the name of Jesus. First Kings chapter 5 and verse 4. But now the Lord my God has given me rest on every side, so that there is neither adversary nor evil occurrence. Hallelujah. The Lord will give each and every one gathered here rest on every side. The Lord will give you rest on every side. There shall be no evil occurrence. Amen. That scripture says there shall be no evil occurrence. Amen. In your lives, in your families, there shall be no evil occurrence. Amen. In your going out your company, there shall be no evil occurrence. Amen. In all pertaining to you, there shall be no evil occurrence. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And so, Brother Manuel has, has fulfilled his own part. Amen. He has fought a good fight. He has finished his course, yes. and he kept the faith. Can we yes. give God praise and power? Yes. He kept the faith, as written in 1 Timothy chapter 4, 6 to 7. 1 Timothy 4, 6 to 7. For I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight, and I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Hallelujah. He has fought a good fight, he has finished his course, he has kept the faith. I pray in the name of Jesus that when it's time to write the last chapters of each of our lives, we also shall, shall, shall be said conveniently concerning us that we have kept the faith in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so like I said earlier on, it's time for adjustment, it's time to make amends, it's time for us to be born again. Tell somebody beside you, it is time to be born again. Today is the time of salvation, not tomorrow. Tell somebody it is time to say yes to Jesus. If, if you are yet to say yes to Jesus, this is the right time. Don't miss this opportunity. It's a golden opportunity. It's written in John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Hallelujah. Whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Verse 18. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already. Because he had not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. He that believeth on him is not condemned, at, but he that believeth not is condemned already. What about verse 36? And he that believeth on the Son has everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see the life, but the wrath of God, of God abided on him. May we not see the wrath of God in Jesus' mighty name. But God tells us in Matthew 16, 26, says, what does it profit a man to gain if he gains, if he should gain the whole world and loses his own soul? May the Lord give us wisdom in Jesus' mighty name. Romans 10, 9 to 10, quickly. Romans 10, 9 to 10. That if thou shalt come. our lives, and if you are here, you are just embracing Christ, 
it is acceptable in Jesus' mighty name. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I make a confession and commitment and I accept you today as my Lord and my Savior. I rededicate my life unto you. Lord, I open my heart to accept you afresh. Have your way in my life. Let your power and your spirit possess me. Lord, I have no wisdom of my own. Guide me. Lead me in your own way that I will not derail from your ordained path in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Step into my life afresh. Step into my life afresh. Be the driver and the pilot of my of my life. Be the controller of my destiny. For whatsoever is committed unto you, you are committed to keep and to preserve. Keep my life safe and secure. Keep my destiny safe and secure. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I pray in the name of Jesus. If anyone is here and just, just took that confession that you are accepting Jesus, I pray in the name of Jesus that your name shall be written in the book of life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And everyone rededicating their lives, I pray in the name of Jesus that the grace to forge ahead, the grace to run the race, to a winning, to the winning point, in the name of Jesus, let it be released upon each and every one here in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so today, by the blood of Jesus, I come against every spirit of untimely death, every power of premature death. In the name of Jesus, every cause of untimely death that might be hanging over any head in this gathering. We command such broken and destroyed Amen. by the blood of Jesus. Amen. I decree, I declare there shall be no evil occurring. Amen. Every form of program of terminal illness, whatever pattern, whatever path that, the, that, that has been programmed to, 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 to terminate lives prematurely, Today, by the blood of Jesus, I declare such terminated in the name of Jesus. Amen. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Every work of darkness in every life and family here we declare destroyed in the name Amen. of Jesus. Uh, even as the year is running to an end, I decree, I declare, no one here shall hear evil. Amen. No Amen. one here shall see evil. We decree every family represented here safe and secure Amen. in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord will crown this year with his goodness. As, as written in the book of Psalm 65 verse 11, the Lord will crown the year 2018 with each and every one of every family here with his goodness, Amen. with his goodness, Amen. with his goodness, Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will know no sorrow. Amen. You shall not cry. Amen. You shall not weep. Amen. You shall not hear evil. Amen. You shall not see evil, in the name of Jesus. Amen. I commit Amen. everyone that will be traveling home for the final barrier of our brother. I pray for journey mercies. Amen. In the name of Jesus, there Amen. shall be no regret. Amen. There shall be no chaos. Amen. There shall be no evil information. Amen. There shall be no accident. There shall be no misfortune. Amen. There shall be no tragedy. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. as you go in peace, you come back in peace. Amen. The Lord will go ahead of you and make every quicker pass straight. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father, for angelic presence. Amen. We pray, O oh Lord, that you supply all the needs of your people Amen. according Amen. to your riches in glory Amen. by Christ Jesus. There shall be no lack. Amen. There shall be no pain. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Take all the glory. Amen. Take all the honor. Amen. Take all adoration. Amen. We pray for all the family members of Brother Manuel far and near mourning at this time. My Lord, locate them and comfort them. Amen. Embrace them with your arms of comfort. Amen. Let your grace be sufficient in their lives. Amen. In the mighty name of our Lord Amen. Jesus Christ. Once again, we're committing Sister Chela unto your hand. Lord, strengthen her. Amen. Yes, Lord. Embolden her. Amen. Empower her. Amen. Empire her. Amen. 
fortify her. Amen. Give her the wisdom, O oh God. Amen. Even at this time, O oh God. Amen. Sister Chela, you will not fall. Amen. You will not fail. Amen. You will not stumble. Amen. You will not lack any good thing in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is well with your body, soul, and spirit. Amen. It is well with your son, Kenzo. Amen. It is well with all pertaining to you Amen. in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shine in all aspects of life. Amen. God himself will shine his light upon your life. Amen. He will separate your life from darkness Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And your light will shine. Amen. Your light will shine. Amen. Take all the glory, Father. Amen. I soak everyone here in the blood of Jesus. God says, say ye to the righteous shall be well with him, for he shall eat the fruit of his doings. I decree, I declare, it shall be well with him. Amen. It is well with him. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Adeline upon, this is my prayer, my humble plea. May the Lord be ever with me. Death, though eyes grow dim, there is no fear when I'm near to him. I'll lean on him forever, and he. Forsake me never. He will not fail me and will keep me ever strong. Whatever road I may walk alone. support Manuel on us, Sheila, the family, when he was sick, and uh, you are here today to help us cope with this uh, hard time. We really appreciate it. So I just want to say thank you. Um, God will take you like uh, he take you here. He will bring you home. Those who will be with us in the next uh, celebration of uh, Money Life, we want God to take you there safely. And those who are not, could not have time to be there, we 
want God also to take you safely home. Amen. Thank you for your time and thank you for all the support you guys are giving to us. Okay, have a good night. Thank you. Dear son, brother, father, was with the Lin family. So actually, we are so concerned about his being away from us. So it, is, it has been our tradition that in time of trouble, joy, we are always together. And that's why we are here to see, to send off our son, our brother, father, and to condole with the dear wife who is here and the uncle don't bless. So, I think it will be a pleasure if we can come out and uh, dance with the widow. I don't think that I have much to do. Whatever thing we can present to the widow, that will carry her a long way. That's all I can say, and we pray. We pray that everything should go successfully. He should be escorted home successfully, and the God will be the family's guardian. Because we have no other person to represent us apart from God. So, um, where is the widow? The wife. Well, so madam, we don't have much, but whatever thing will give you, it will help to bury your husband, our son, our, our father, our brother, everything. So we have this um, I'm standing as the council chair of the steering committee and we have few council members here, but before seeing something as the as the council representative, I want to I want to give my personal um, the personal relation I have with, with my brother. Thank you, Gigi. She was actually on the program. Um, so, Flaubert was a border for, for people that had the chance to, uh, to speak with Flaubert or to exchange with him. It was a very 
very nice guy. So personally, I think I lost a very good friend. Um, in my previous life, I was a DJ. And when I used to DJ, he was the only one who used to come and fight with me. <laughs> and that's a, it's actually a picture that I, that keep going on in my, in my mind when I think about Flaubert. So he was a pleasant, very nice guy. And I think he deserves what I'm seeing tonight. So Flaubert, you are not alone. Your family is not alone. We are together. And you know that you will be in peace where, wherever you, you know, you go in now. So, uh, now as the council chairperson, I just want to say we are an organization that was, that was created in 2003. We've been around for a long time. And you also remember the presence of council in this type of event. So we always come out and support the family. Tonight we have a lot of members that came here. Council is not about money. Council do not come because they want to give money to a family that is believed. When we come, it's because we have human resources. We have people that are behind us. And we know those people will come and support the family. And that's the reason why we as a council member, we always make sure we show up and we support the family to the best of uh, you know, out of our pocket, if we can. Or we support to the, the family, you know, anyhow we can. So, I just want to say, we are asking all Cameroonians to belong, to try to belong to a group, because it's very important when you come to, to a group like this. It's important to to know that you have support behind you. It's important to belong to a community. And Flaubert was one of those, those guys. He was part of the community. He was actually playing soccer with Kamsok all the time. And, I, and I, I, I believe that for those that, um, uh, that are I played with us in the past. They know that he was a very good player and he was always around us. So we don't have much to say tonight. I just want to give this uh, to the to the Billy family. We just want to say we are very sorry for your loss. We are together. We are a family, so you can count on us if you need anything. No, 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 we have a token for the family. No, no. And I would like to, to give that to you. No, no. Thank you. Uh, we don't want to take, but you, you can see I'm here with one of our, our members. Uh, his name is Jiki Owan. And we, the reason why Jiki is here with me is because we want to show the true generation that we have in council. Again, we have a lot of people here that maybe they, they don't know about council, but if you have a minute, please reach out to us. We have a website, you can log in and then get more information. It is very important for us to, um, you know, to, to stretch that information because a lot of people don't know what we're doing. Because maybe when they came to the country, 
they were not oriented to uh, to the right uh, to the right direction. But we are here to support people. We are here to promote, you know, uh, fellowship. Again, thank you very much, and have a nice time. Thank you, um, for best friend. So. Um, I have written something here that I'm going to um, read to, to you guys. Dear friends and family, today is a hard day for all of us. But one thing I'm sure we all appreciate today is being here all together, sharing each other's moment of thought for Flaubert whom we all love as a friend, as a loved one, as a husband, and as a brother. We all have our own personal and special memories of the marks Flaubert left in our hearts and in our lives. It is very hard for me to be here today hearing my own thoughts, trying my best to focus on the happiest time Flaubert brought us, rather than the fact that he's no longer here with us today. Flaubert was such a great person, a strong man, physically, from character, personality, and presence. We're all here today because somewhere, somehow, we all have been touched by Flaubert. For me, Flaubert will always be with me. What I will remember though, is a man that never took no as an answer. A man that will do all it takes for his family, here and abroad. A friend that will do all it takes for his friends. I will remember our trips to New York, to Maryland, and also to DC. I will remember our private conversations and all the great advice he gave me. This is what makes Flaubert remain with me personally, and I'm sure you all have your very own special and private moment that you will cherish and keep to your heart. We were all very lucky to have Flaubert in our lives, and as much as Flaubert will be missed, by us, Flaubert will remain with us every day as long as we can remember. We love and miss you, Flaubert. Rest in peace. Thank you. I you know, I thought he was a very nice guy and very handsome, and I thought my daughter was very lucky to meet someone like him. And so, um, you know, I'm not going to make it a long story, but I just wanted to just share my heartfelt um, uh, emotions and just say how. Um, you know, I love Manny, I loved him for my daughter, and we're gonna miss him a lot. Um, it just, just all happened so fast. Just, just, it's like he just came into our life and now he's gone. And, and um, you know, I'm trying to be strong for my daughter, but we're hurting, hurting for my daughter. Her last. So, um, 
I just want to remember all the good things about him in the short time that I've known him, which uh, he was very uh, caring, understanding, friendly, um, warm, sincere, and um, I'm going to miss him. Um, I could go on longer, but I'm not, because I don't want to start crying, so thank you so much. This is Jacob, he wants to share with you guys. Manny was a intelligent black African. He was very kind and compassionate person. Every time I went to him in Sheila's house, he always made me feel welcoming and wanted. Now he's my uncle. Thank you, Sherla, for meeting such a dedicated person. I still talk to him just in my head. He, he was also a hard worker. Whenever Sherla's car broke down, he probably fixed it. Thank you, man. Merci. Uh, merci, uh, Jacob, and uh, notre mama, Roslyn. And it's expressed a lot of the characters that many of us have also remarked. Our friend Flaubert, Flaubert was always engaged. And we don't say it simply because he's not with us now. We say it because we have all experienced this presence, this generous character, this character that's always disponible. Je me souviens pas combien de fois je l'ai appelé à, à, et, et juste pour lui dire « Flaubert, j'ai un problème avec la voiture, comment ça se passe ?» Et il s'est disposé à soit me donner des directions, comment faire. So we are very happy and we, we can all uh, testify how generous and how good our brother was to us and he was to all of us. Um, we have so that day he called me and said, Uncle, I just got my visa, I'm coming. Where are you? I'm in Angola. I said, okay, I'm waiting for you. I went like six months. I didn't see him. I was like, maybe, maybe my nephew is like uh, others. Then another morning, he was like, I'm coming next week. I said, okay, I'm still waiting for you. Um, Flaubert came, unfortunately, few months, like, I think it was like three months after that, he started with pain on his arm. Uh, at that time, there was not papers for him to go in the, any hospital in Boston, so we were just looking for volunteers. But in the community, some, some people helped somehow to apply for uh, asylum, and then when he got it, because the mass help was there, we started with uh, mass general. And mass general, he got his first surgery on his arm. He was a strong, very strong guy. He was like, oh crap, still feel pain on my hands, but he was still working with. I think maybe three or four months after that, he went to the hospital again. They said, no, we, we, need, we need another surgery. Uh, the, first of, the first one was just a, a, a little uh, surgery, but the second one was all the arms. And then they found out there was a tumor. He got some radiation on that arm. We thought everything was okay because he started his life like he used to. A 
few months again, he was like, on my shoulder, the uncle, my shoulder, I, don't, I can't carry something heavy because my shoulder is, is kind of painful. That's how Flaubert went down. Because he went to the hospital, he said, you know what, you're gonna have a surgery on your back. After that surgery, Flaubert was gone because he was like uh, just a myth because surgery every day. Uh, today is another surgery, next day is another one. Um, I don't, I don't really want to go back to that because I, I feel so bad for him. But what was good about Flaubert, it was not just strong physically, but it is in, in his mind, it was really strong. Even the day before he passed away, I was on the, the hospital with oxygen everywhere, he couldn't speak, but he was trying to say something. Hold my hands, squeeze it. And I remember before he got to that uh, stage, it was I the uncle, I'm not gonna die. They told me I don't have long time in this world, but they are not God, I'm not gonna die. And believe me, I'm gonna get up. But Christian says, always said, what people like, God also like it. I think that's why God took it. Uh, what I would like to say is, thank all those people because we got a lot of support from friends, from family, everybody. I even met people I, I never met before because they just heard about uh, my nephew illness. Thank you to be here tonight and thank you for all the support you guys are bringing to us. Um, I will just pray God to take you guys safely in your respective home. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody, for your support, for your love. <clears throat> it's still really surreal that my husband is not with me. The, uh, it's really surreal. Um, we fought so hard. He fought so hard. He didn't want to go. He did not want to go. He changed his diet. He did everything he could. I traveled to Nigeria to find God. For him, I we prayed, we fast, and it just showed us that we're not in control of our lives, and uh, God has the last say. Um, I'm blessed to have known Him and what He has provided in my life for me. I never thought I would meet a man that like Him. And he gave me everything I could ever want. And I'm just so sad. Not just for me, but for my son, who won't be able to be raised by this man. That won't be able to learn from him his morals, his dignity, his, the standards that he had. It hurts me more for Kenzo. But he's going to live through me as long as I'm on this earth. He's going to live through Kenzo. And I'm going to try my best to instill any values that he had in Kenzo. He's going to know who his dad was. His life didn't go in vain. I don't know why this was God's decision, but I'm not going to question my God. I know that there's a reason and a purpose that his life was sacrificed in this way. Out of all his siblings, he was the leader. He's the one that took care of his family. He took care of his family, and he didn't want to give up because of his family. 
All he had on his mind was his mom, his dad, his son. He has to help them. I can't go. I don't know why this happened, but there's a greater purpose, I know. I know there's a greater purpose behind this. I just think my African community, everyone who has lifted us up with your unity and richness, I'm so blessed to have met each and every one of you. But those that I don't even know, those that are here that don't even know him, I'm so thankful for you. I'm thankful for your monetary donations and thank you. Thankful for your prayers, the food that you've made us, everything that you've given us, you've kept us lifted because we couldn't have done it without you. I stopped working to take care of my husband because we just believed that this wasn't going to be the answer. We'd never thought in a million years. I didn't care how much the doctors told us or tried to scare us. That didn't matter to me. But I know he's in a greater place now. We're going to keep living for him. This was God's plan since he was born. That's the only thing I can sum it up to. That he was supposed to die right now. But he didn't die. He still lives, but he's just not in that body any longer. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm, I'm thankful for each and every one of my friends, everyone that has stood in my corner. I'm so thankful you have been my rock. I'm thankful for Manny's friends, everyone that's come by the house, everyone that took the time out of their days to visit him, to call him. He didn't want to tell people how bad he was doing, if you will, because he just believed that he was going to get better. He didn't want anyone to really see him in that position. He wasn't in denial. He just believed in his miracle. But this just was God's plan the entire time. It doesn't matter what we did. This is what... This is what he planned for his life, but I know there's something better that will come out of this. I know, and I believe God. So I just thank you for this life, and I just want to celebrate his life tonight. He loved to dance. He was full of life. He loved to laugh. He loved to dance. He loved to celebrate, commemorate with everyone. So I want to celebrate his life. I want us to dance and have fun and, and keep him in your hearts while you do that. So I thank you. I thank you for tonight, and I God bless each and every one of you. Thank you. God, God bless you, Shella. Okay, God, he savait que ceci n'était pas la fin, mais Dieu a finalement décidé de le prendre. C'est une question aussi pour nous de, euh, comme nous l'avons écouté aujourd'hui, que. Il y a plus de sagesse d'être dans la maison de deuil que dans la maison de joie. So there is more wisdom to be in the house of mourn than to be in the house of joy. Because in the house of mourn, you can question the reason of life. Tu peux te questionner sur le, le but de la vie et essayer de prendre des décisions assez concrètes. Donc nous allons continuer à célébrer cette vie qui, pour le combat que notre frère a mené, nous allons continuer à célébrer, à vraiment être nous manifester. Et nous avons quelques euh, groupes. Nous, je sais qu'il y a encore deux autres personnes qui parleront après. Maman Jackie et notre soeur Anastasia. They will talk a little bit later. Uh, but uh, before that, I want the group of Lean to start getting ready. And we have the group of Lean who will make his entrance. Uh, uh, very soon. Then, family, if you can start getting ready to make your entrance so we can continue our celebration of uh, our brother Flaubert, Manny's life. Um, the extension, when something like this happens, we tend to come together. When nothing happens, everyone stays on their own corner. But what the pastor said, it's good to be in a house of mourn than to be somewhere else. So tonight, I'm recognizing the West Ham of Massachusetts. Please welcome in the house. I'm recognizing the Day group of Massachusetts. Please welcome in the house. 
and recognizing the Bazoo Group of New England, please welcome in the house. And, re and recognizing the Balengu Group of Massachusetts, please welcome in the house. And recognizing the whole camp of New England, Massachusetts, please welcome in the house. And recognizing the Bafu Group of New England, Massachusetts, please welcome in the house. And recognizing the Krishu Group of New England, please welcome in the house. And I'm also recognizing the Bamboo Group of Massachusetts, New England, please welcome in the house. I thank you. I extend my thanks personally, also on the behalf of the family and also on my behalf. I had to go around and cry to our brothers and sisters. So we all had to come in today to mourn our brother. Please, I thank you and I thank you each one of you that the way you did tonight to come out to mourn with this family, please, you receive thankful. And we thank you for being here the blood of Jesus that brought you here. Please, we take each and every one of you home. And the blood of Jesus, we take this family back to Cameroon and come back here safely. We thank you again. We are so proud to be in Bamile Caves. We all always come together. If you not, please join us. Thank you and thank you so very much. Amen. Amen. <laughs>
Je me genou à terre pour un corps à ma pauvre propre. Quand je pense à mon passé et tout ce que j'ai traversé, je me genou à terre pour un corps à